Hey guys, welcome to another video. And man, man, what what can I say, man? You guys, I don't know if you've been following me, but I've been since Man of Steel came out in 2013. I've been waiting for DC Direct, DC Collectibles to do their own damn figures. We had to wait a while. 2013 seems like a while ago especially waiting for this this fig and what can i say it's finally here guys i have not been able to put this guy down since i got it yesterday morning i i just can't put him down like it's i've been waiting for this articulate uh, a, a good scaled sculpted articulated Superman fig for so long and if this is what if this is just the you know the first run of what DC collectibles is gonna do with their with their films their film movies I mean this is gonna be incredible this line is gonna be phenomenal I hope they continue it I hope people go out and buy it and support it but this right here guys I mean you I, you probably seen other videos and how it looks, but let me just show you how it looks, how he looks in the box. Get a real quick view of the box. Like no one cares really about the box. See Armor Batman in the back, but you've seen other videos about the articulation and stuff, and and I'll show you that, but. I'm going to get to the two things that bother me real quick about this fig. Number one, the paint job is excellent, but it's a little, uh, the blue is a little too bright. I will give Mattel this one, this one little good point. Their Superman figs, the paint was a nice blue, not too dark, not too light. But this one you can see is, is light. It should be a little more blue, a little more darker blue. I wish the reds were red and the blues were blue. The reds are more dark maroon, so to speak. But um, that's the one gripe. The other gripe is the head sculpt. I mean, at some angles, it looks like Henry Cavill and others, it doesn't. I think it was Anthony's Customs that said uh, <laughs> he looks like John Travolta. And I wish he didn't say that because now I, I, you know, I, I actually kind of see it a little bit. But, um, guys, let's just, this cape, you might not be able to pick it up on, on camera, but look at this cape. Feel this, dude. This is amazing. This is not, you know, some cheap material. And you get the wire on the side and you can pose it however you want. This guy is phenomenal. Like the sculpting in the suit. Let's see if we can get it up close. I wish the suit was darker so you can see it you know, on camera. But in hand, you notice the sculpting in the suit. The, the sculpting on the S shield. Symbol for hope, by the way. It's not an S, symbol for hope. Let's get it right. And yes, I love that movie. I love Man of Steel. For all you haters that, that hate, like to hate on that movie, eat a high, hard one. Because Man of Steel was excellent. BVS has its problems, obviously. Little step back from Man of Steel. But, um, guys, look at this guy. Another little gripe is the, the, the shading on the boots. Like, I just wish everything was red. Like, the boots are not, they're kind of dark. It's like, the red are, the reds are dark, the blues are light. But look at the, the detail, man. Look at the, guys. Support this line, man, please. Because, you know, I see the imports, the Mafex, and you know, you know, 
they're cool, but they're a little, they're a little flimsy, especially for the price. This guy has heft to it. Like this guy feels like a collectible. This guy feels like a, a, a an actual figure. Like DC collectibles did a great job on this guy, man. Like he does come um with a fly stand. Fly stand is cool. I'll, I'll post some pictures up at the end of the vid. I can't believe they they let Mattel do their movie figures especially when they started their own universe the DC Cinematic Universe DCEU but um guys look at this guy man the articulation like you've seen other videos but the articulation is on point especially for a, a you know 7 inch scaled figure You get a you get a waist swivel. The ab doesn't really crunch that much, but you can go back. Man, his head now that to get the head to look all the way up like that, you can move the neck. So it's not just the head is on a ball joint, a nice ball joint, but the neck moves down. Sort of like a Hot Toys, actually. The neck moves all the way down, and you can move up to have him look up straight like that. And uh, the legs come out. You got a thigh swivel, double hinge knees. You got ankle rocker. Guys, like. I mean, <laughs> I, I'm sorry, man. I've I just been waiting for this fig for so long, and it doesn't disappoint. Like, it just, and, and, and you know, I keep saying the cape, but man, this cape is, this cape is phenomenal. Like, look at the flow. Like, this is. This is amazing, guys. So you get articulation. The price point is kind of high, but if you're paying for import, you know, it's about the same price, maybe a little bit cheaper. You know, it's about 45 bucks here. And you know, you go to your local comic shop, pick them up. You won't have to get gouged by online prices. Amazon did have these up, but I don't know what happened between Amazon and DC. But guys, this this fig, like I said, the only gripes I have is the light blues and the and the dark reds, and maybe the head sculpt. Damn it, Anthony! Anthony's customs. Now I can't stop seeing him as John Travolta, but uh, I passed on the armor Batman. Like I don't really like the armor Batman. Maybe I'm biased, but uh, I'm definitely getting Wonder Woman. I'm definitely gonna get the regular suited Batman fig. Like these guy, this guy is phenomenal, guys. You not if you if you've been waiting for. An articulated DC collectibles figure and a Superman figure at that. Superman's 75th anniversary was back in what 2013. They had no articulated figures for him, none. They were all the new 52, and you know, those guys were basically you know the old standard style of DC Direct. It wasn't that much articulation. But if you're looking for an articulated Superman, this guy is it. You get a great cloth cape. Get a flight stand. You get get an extra head for the eye beams. Extra hands. 
I mean, for the price point, man, this is it's unbelievable, man. It's really, really unbelievable. But thanks, guys, for watching. Remember, support this line, the DC Films line from DC Collectibles. It's expensive, but you get what you pay for, man. Like, and if you want to do a head swap, you know, with a better looking Henry Cavill head, you can. But this guy is just phenomenal. Alright guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.